Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This video is super exciting because I'm finally kicking off my party makeup series and I'm going to be publishing around four or five party makeup looks throughout December. So these looks are going to be over the top and amazing. As you can see, this one is a beautiful cat eye makeup tutorial. I wanted to start off with this look because this is my personal favorite. And whenever I think of partying and you know, a sexy party look, the cat eye makeup look is the first thing that comes to my mind. Don't worry, there are definitely going to be tons more tutorials coming soon but for this party season I wanted to create over-the-top makeup looks that you could wear to Christmas parties and you know you could practice your New Year's Eve look and it is just so interesting I absolutely love makeup anyone of you can do it trust me it looks a lot more difficult than it actually is and you will see how I do it if you're new to my channel please make sure you click that subscribe button to make sure that you don't miss any more videos and updates from me and before I start babbling any further let's get into the tutorial so I'm going to start with an eyeshadow base, for that I'm using the Benefit Boeing Concealer and I'm putting it all over my eyelid to create a nice base and counteract any of the redness and I'm going to set that with a little bit of face powder. I'm going to take Makeup Geek Peach Smoothie on a MAC 217 and I am going to put that right in the crease and this is going to help blend the other shadows better. Going into Makeup Geek Frappe, I am taking this also on a MAC 217 and putting this right in my crease and this is going to be my transition shade. Every other color is going to blend into this color and it's going to look a lot better this way and I'm blending it with a MAC 224 with a little bit of peach smoothie on it. Now I'm taking the Maybelline Gel Liner and this is actually a dried up Maybelline Colossal Liner which I like to use as a brush with my gel liner. And the wing is the most important part of this look. So I'm going to start by winging up my eye and you just have to imagine your lower lash line extending upwards and just connect that wing to your crease and fill in that outer V and you will be left with this beautiful wing. And I'm sure you can pretty much see clearly what I'm doing so I don't have to explain it that much because it's very easy and clear to see so I'm just connecting that wing until I feel like it is nice and even looking and I'm going to adjust it until I feel like it is matching my other wing and I'm just gonna do the best that I can to make sure that both of them match and looking at both of them and trying to make them even so after I feel like they're looking even enough, I'm just going to fill in that outer V and I'm taking a little bit of Makeup Geek Mocha on a pencil brush. This is by Vega. This is a really nice soft pencil brush and I'm putting it right into the crease to darken it a little bit. Now I'm taking Makeup Geek Corrupt on a MAC 239 and I am just putting it over where I put the gel liner and this is just going to set my gel liner, make it a little bit darker and more matte and I'm filling in the outer V and bringing it inwards a little bit so it just looks like a nice gradient instead of like a stark cat eye. Then I'm going to mix Mocha and Corrupt and I'm putting them in the crease just to darken the crease a little bit more and make everything look a lot more smoky. Of course, I'm going to blend that with the 224. If I show my entire blending process, this video is probably going to be about two hours long. Now I'm taking Frappe on a 217 and I'm just putting it in my crease and making sure everything looks perfectly blended because I like my crease and my eyeshadows to be perfectly blended. Nothing is looking harsh and you know uneven so i'm going in with a little bit of cocoa bear just to add a little bit more warmth this is a beautiful red toned brown i absolutely love this shade this is one of my favorite shadows from makeup geek by the way if you're wondering where i get my makeup geek eyeshadows from i get them from the makeup geek website i have made an entire video on it i will link it somewhere here and i will insert a card if you're on a mobile device and i will also put the link in the description box so if you have any query about how to order from makeup geek and everything that is answered in that video. I'm taking this coppery shade from the Makeup Revolution Iconic 2 palette and I'm putting it with my finger because this is kind of like a shimmery, um, almost an almost a foiled shimmery shadow. So I feel like those shadows are best when applied with synthetic brushes or your fingers. And of course, I'm blending all of that with Makeup Geek Frappe.
Now with all of that blending, I lost a little bit of darkness in my wings so I'm just adding a little bit more gel liner just to make it a little bit darker and I'm also going to blend all of that with Corrupt on my 239. Now it's looking a lot more even as you can see. I am lining my top lash line with the Lotus Color Kick Kajal and I'm trying to be as close to my lash line as possible. I'm also going to apply a little bit of my gel liner just to make sure that there are no gaps showing and there are no white patches between my lashes and the liner because I hate it when that happens. <laughs> a little more behind the scenes blending. Now I'm curling my eyelashes with the Kalaba eyelash curler and I'm going to apply two coats of mascara. First I'm going in with Maybelline The Falsies. This is one of my favorite drugstore mascaras. Absolutely love this stuff. This is amazing. I'm also applying another coat of Maybelline The Colossal. This is also an amazing volumizing mascara. Now, of course, I'm going to apply false lashes. These are the 217s by Morphe. They are a little bit more um, flared towards the outside corner and that enhances the cat eye appearance. That is why I love to wear these eyelashes whenever I'm doing a nice cat eye and I'm blending my own eyelashes with those. Moving on to the face, I'm using the L'Oreal Base Magic Primer. I really love this primer. It makes me look really nice and smooth and it fills in your pores. So this stuff is great. Moving on to foundation, this is the L'Oreal Infallible 24 hour foundation, one of my favorite drugstore foundations. It has almost medium to full coverage, you can layer it to full coverage. I'm applying that with my beauty blender and I'm just bouncing it all over my face and getting the coverage that I want. It's much easier to layer this foundation with a beauty blender. If you try to layer it too much with a brush, it's going to end up looking cakey. And I'm going to blend it on my neck, on my forehead. On my entire face and I love how this looks it actually stays put for seven to eight hours now I'm using my favorite concealer in the whole world this is the Mac Pro Longwear concealer I'm in the shade NC 30 and I'm in the shade 200 golden sand in the L'Oreal infallible foundation in this I am NC 30 this is a shade lighter than my skin tone so I am putting it under my eyes in an inverted triangle shape and I'm using it to highlight as well. That's why I use it in a shade lighter than my skin tone. I'm also putting it around my mouth, a little bit on my forehead and yeah, just areas where I want to highlight my face. Making sure everything is blended perfectly. I'm going to start contouring my face. This is the LA Girl Pro Conceal Concealer and this is in the shade Toast and I'm just putting it under my cheekbones and I'm also going to, I forgot to contour my nose in this video. <laughs> Who am I without nose contour? Oh my god, this is so weird. I realized after editing that I forgot to contour my nose. Anyway, moving on, I'm just blending that in. This is a Morphe G3 brush. It is a really beautiful tapered blending brush, one of my favorites for contouring. So I'm blending that concealer with my brush and of course I'm going to bounce a beauty blender on it because everything just looks better after bouncing a beauty blender on your skin. I'm also contouring my jawline. And of course my forehead because I do have a little bit of a large forehead so I like to contour that just to make sure it looks a little bit more bronzed and you know less in your face. Now I'm going to highlight my face with the Benefit High Beam and I'm using this, I'm going to use a powder highlight afterwards. I'm using this to create a nice base for my highlight. Since this is a party makeup look, I want to make sure that my makeup lasts all night. So this is my base for my highlight. It's absolutely beautiful. I'm putting it on my cheekbones, whatever's left on my fingers. I'm putting it on the arches, above the arches of my eyebrow. I am going to set the areas wherever I contoured my face with the Body Shop Honey Bronzer. If you've been watching my videos, you know that I'm obsessed with this stuff. And I've been using it for months, but I still haven't hit pan. I still have not hit pan on this stuff. It is magical. It's amazing. So I'm going to bronze up my entire face with that using this blush brush that I got from 
मेकअप के तरह ब्रश के तरह बॉट क्वाइट अ लॉन्ग वाई लगाओ एक्चुअली दीज ब्रशेज आर वेरी सॉफ्ट Now we are going to bake our face. This is the Creolan translucent powder. This is my favorite step and this makes the world of a difference. Baking your face just it I cannot explain how much I love this process. It just makes your skin look nice and poreless. It sets your makeup for the entire night, entire day. It makes your makeup sweat proof and your makeup just looks a lot better when you bake your face. Now I am going to define my contour with this flat brush. This is also by Morphe and I forgot what it's called. Um I think this is called the G6 or something. I'll list it down below. I love to do I love to do this step because it just makes so much difference. It makes your contour stand out, makes your contour look really nice and defined and the contour just looks a lot better with after you do this step and whenever I'm doing a really bold eye, I love to have a really nice sculpted contour. So I am going to do that and after that I'm going to buff away all the excess powder with this real techniques duo fiber brush and I'm using a duo fiber brush because duo fiber brushes are really really soft it is not going to hinder what we've done underneath it is not going to move the concealer or foundation like the other like the, some other powder brushes can do duo fiber brushes are really soft so that's why I like to remove the bake <laughs> with the duo fiber brush Now with the magic of editing my eyebrows are done and I'm going to use the Mary Luminizer just to highlight the inner corners of my eyes. This just makes your eyes look so much more awake and healthy and I'm using the sugar I told you so waterproof liquid eyeliner and I am going to create that inner wing that inner flick that makes your eyes look really nice and feline. After that I'm lining my lower lash line with the Lotus Color Kick Kajal the one that we used in our top lash line top waterline lash line waterline both of them actually and I am going to smudge that with a MAC 219 this is a MAC pencil brush and doing the same thing on the other eye using the Lotus Color Kick Kajal just on the lower waterline and blending that and smudging that with the MAC pencil brush Now I am applying my mascara to my lower lashes and I tried to do this without getting out of frame but I always got out of frame whenever I'm trying to apply my mascara. This is a Freedom blush palette. I think this is called Pink and Pink and Baked and I'm using those two shades. Whenever I'm using a blush, whenever I'm using a blush palette like this, I like to mix the blushes and create kind of like a custom shade and I'm just applying those those two shades. on to my cheeks and this is a morphe e4 one of my favorite blush brushes the this brush is so soft i absolutely love this brush it does not feel scratchy on the skin it's just the best brush best blush brush i've ever used i love how this eye makeup turned out for highlighting i'm using the mac soft and gentle mineralized skin finish highlighter one of my favorites and i'm using that on a mac Mac. Oh, this is a Morphe. Morphe M501. I bought the Morphe brushes from the Morphe brushes website and I am just highlighting the tops of my cheeks. Love this highlight. And above the arches of my eyebrow. On my cupid's bow. and under my eyebrows so everywhere basically <laughs> i love this highlight now i'm using the debra milano 24 or lip pencil in 03 this is a really nice pinky browny beautiful shade one of my favorite lip liners of all time so i am just overlining my lips a little bit and i'm also going to fill my entire lips with this and i'm going to create the shape that i want because i like to overdraw my lips and give them a better poutier shape after that i am applying this faces ultim pro lipstick in wrapped up i have created a review on six of these lipsticks i will link that somewhere here and in the description box as well so you can check out my review if you want to see how these are after that is done I am going to set my face which is the last step of this makeup look. And yeah, I'm loving how this turned out and I'm using the Mac Fix Plus for that. 
and just spritzing my face a lot <laughs> drenching my face and just drying it now and this is it for this makeup look i hope you enjoyed it and i absolutely love how it turned out so this is it for this video and this is the final result. I hope you enjoyed this video and learned something helpful and new. Please hit that thumbs up button if you're excited to see more party makeup looks. 